And now, your weather authority, Ron Young. Certified the most accurate forecast in the Arklatex. Welcome back, everybody. I hope your Sunday has been outstanding across the area. It's been a pretty nice day. Hot, yes, but we were still in triple digits, but we didn't break any records, and it was a little cooler than it was yesterday. You're looking at your Shadow, Louisiana quality outdoor sky cam, and you can see that there's quite the wind going on right now, uh, basically out of the east, east southeast, and it's pretty hefty right now. We'll talk about a red flag, red flag warning about fire danger coming up in just a minute. But right now, let's check out those afternoon high temperatures. We only made it up to 106 today, but there are some hotter days coming up. And my seven day forecast, also 106 as we go up to uh, the Idabel area and 106 in center, 108 in Natchitoches and in Manny, Louisiana, cool one, 97. That was in the uh, Magnolia area. I had to think for a minute. 101, the afternoon high in Texarkana, so not as warm as it was yesterday. Now, we have an excessive heat warning in effect, but take a look at when it expires. This does not expire until 9 a.m. on your Tuesday. So we're going to go tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow night, and then maybe we'll get a break and maybe just a heat advisory for your Tuesday. We'll take a look at that in just a second. But I know that you're interested in the hurricane and we've been watching it move into California and continuing to move to the north and they have had the floods, the whole shebang, high winds. They were not used to this and this is the first one that's hit in a long, long time. But we have to watch right now. We are looking at a system that may develop into a storm. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, this should now be a tropical storm, minimal tropical storm. Uh, and this will, or not this one, this one will move across the Gulf and there is a chance it could form into a system as well. Meanwhile, this is the one that has become a hurricane, Port-au-Prince, uh, and this will not affect any of us over our way, but we will be watching this one. And this is what turned into Hurricane Franklin. And we still have Emily out in the ocean that is not going to bother anybody. As we take a look at your Robert's Toyota Futurecast, some clouds. And as we go towards 4 o'clock uh, on Monday, we will be seeing... Maybe some rain outside the area, but not for the Arklatex. No, less than 10% on anything being in our area. 7 a.m. on Monday, uh, Tuesday morning, still hot weather, clouds across the south. And as we go all the way through 5 p.m. on your Tuesday, we may see a little sprinkle far south, southwest. We will have some southeasterly winds, so the heat is going to continue. 7 p.m. Tuesday, not seeing anything at all. Although activity is going to be increasing in the Gulf of Mexico and along the uh, mountainous areas of the eastern states. But for us, it doesn't look like we'll have much at all going on. Now then, let's talk about the burn bands. Miller County is included. All of northwest Louisiana and all of northeast and getting into east Texas. But take a look right along now, Interstate 20 as we go through. There is a red flag warning for Northeast Texas along and south of Interstate 20, along and south of Interstate 20 here. Tomorrow we will have some pretty hefty winds, very dry conditions, crunchy as far as the vegetation, and it could start a wildfire in no time. 80 degrees followed by 103, 81, 104. We're going to be either side of 80, 104 again on Wednesday, up to 107 on Thursday, the hottest of the week, 105. Then we go to 105 again on your Saturday, and look at this, 77 and 100 on your Sunday, a 20% chance of a few showers on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, I like this. We'll be right back. <music> 